Now at 5.30, an arrest has been made in a shooting this weekend in Lexington. Coming up, we'll tell you who's been charged. Also on WKYT this morning, three young men are now in jail, charged with shooting and killing a UK student. Hundreds gathered for a memorial for 22-year-old Jonathan Kruger last night at the UK campus. And a news conference will be held in Frankfurt today involving the ongoing bourbon theft cases. The sheriff promises a major announcement. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning to you as we get you up to the minute and get this Tuesday off and rolling. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Barbara Bailey. In for Rebecca today. Kind of quiet start to the day, and, and that's a nice thing. Hold right. off the showers for a little bit longer. Yeah, those are rolling through this time yesterday, but uh, yeah, it is much uh, more pleasant out there. We were talking with Mike a little bit ago with all this rain. The pollen counts have been up, and he's going to be talking about that this morning as there well. There are a lot of us who can <laughs> feel that. Yes. We know that that count is high, but it'll be nice to see just how high it really is. Let's check in with it, Micah. Yeah, it looks outside that it's just a cool start. And those pollen counts, man, they're really high. I'll get into that forecast. I actually have your pollen forecast coming up, but it is not feeling good outside. And look, as we make our way out the door, just know you're going to have to carry a coat along with you. We're at 42 now in Lexington. We're at 40 degrees there in Frankfurt. Cynthia Anna coming out in the upper 30s. So it's a chilly start. We we'll go through the day. We'll hold on to that mixture of sun and clouds. Your daylight hours for the most part will stay dry. But as we start to see that sunset, we get into where that 5, 6, 7 p.m. time frame. Sunsets right there at about 8.15, you'll start to see some rain move on in. So that small chance comes into play about 5 to 7, and then the rain really picks up as we head off into the evening and night. Now, once that rain pushes on through, we have some much cooler air back behind that. And I'm talking frost with 30s. I'll show you that coming up. All right, thank you. New this morning on WKYT, Lexington police have arrested a man in connection with a shooting this weekend. The 19-year-old is charged with multiple counts of wanton endangerment and assault. WKYT's Hillary Thornton is live from District Court now with more on the case. Hillary, good morning. Good morning. 19-year-old Kashawan Livers is facing a fleeing and evading charge after a wild chase yesterday near downtown Lexington. But that's not the only thing he is charged with after officers found a gun in that car. Police say when they tried to pull Livers over, he took off at a high rate of speed in the East 6th Street area, nearly hitting several pedestrians as he lost control and at times drove on the sidewalk. Police say he eventually got out of the moving vehicle without putting it in park. His car then crashed into a home on Breckenridge Street as he ran away. But Livers did not get away for long as officers quickly caught up to him. Police say while searching the car, they found a gun and were later able to connect Livers to one of this weekend's shootings. Investigators say on Saturday, Livers fired several shots into a home near East 6th Street and Ohio, hitting one person in the arm. They say he also fired into a car, causing extensive damage. Now, in addition to that fleeing and evading charge, he is also facing wanton endangerment, assault, and criminal mischief. He will be arraigned on all of those charges this afternoon here in Fayette County District Court. For now, we're live in Lexington. Hillary Thornton, back to you. Hillary, thank you very much. Also new this morning, police are looking for a man who robbed a Lexington gas station. Just after 1 o'clock this morning, a man robbed the Thorntons on South Broadway. Police say the man showed the clerk a gun, took cash, and then ran away. K-9 units tried to track the man but lost his scent. Police say they don't have a good description of the man other than that he was of medium build and wearing jeans and a gray hoodie at the time. Hundreds gathered to pay their respects to a UK student shot and killed during a robbery last week. 22 year old Jonathan Kruger died early Friday morning. He was the photo editor for the Kentucky Colonel, which organized a memorial on campus last night. More than 200 people came by to share memories of Jonathan and to write letters about him to send to his family. To say that we are shocked and devastated only begins to express our feelings at this moment. He was everything to us, and imagining our lives without his smile is impossible. Funeral services are being planned for Kruger, but a celebration of his life is being scheduled for May 31st. Details for that are still in the works.
Lexington police have now charged three people with murder in this case. They arrested, they arrested the third person, a 17-year-old, yesterday. The other two suspects, 18-year-old Justin Smith and 20-year-old Efrien Diaz, pleaded not guilty in court yesterday afternoon. Lexington police say they do not anticipate any other arrest in this case. We combed through social media posts, pictures, and videos, and in them we found where Smith and Diaz claimed to be members of gangs in Lexington. But police have not said if those claims are true. The time is 535. Lexington police have not made any arrests in another recent murder. Investigators say 22-year-old Asala Udin Jitmud was stabbed Sunday night at an apartment complex on Trent Boulevard. He worked for the Pizza Hut on Saron Drive. Police tell us they don't have many leads right now, and they're asking for the public's help. Police say they are not sure who made the delivery call that ended in Jitmud's death, and they're not sure if he was specifically targeted. Friends say Jitmud Mood had been working on a film project and loved to create new things. It was so obvious he was trying to make his mark on this world with his art, uh, film, uh, writing, music, rapping, you name it. In a statement, Pizza Hut said the company is saddened by what happened and is cooperating with law enforcement. A man has died in Breathitt County after police say his car slammed into a coal truck. It happened along Highway 15 yesterday, not far from the Perry County line. Witnesses told police the coal truck had stopped for a school bus. Police say the victim's car came around a curve but didn't stop and hit the back of the coal truck. They say the man died at the scene. His name has not been released. Today, the Franklin County Sheriff promises that there will be a major announcement involving some ongoing bourbon theft cases. One of those cases is the 2013 case of stolen Pappy Van Winkle bourbon. It's been a big mystery, and the other involves several barrels of bourbon stolen from Wild Turkey Distillery. The suspect in that case is set to be in court today. WKYT's Victor Puente is at our live desk with a look at the developments. Victor, good morning. Good morning, Bill. Franklin County Sheriff Pat Melton has previously said he thinks the heist was an inside job pulled off by at least two high-ranking employees with access to Buffalo Trace's facilities. That's the distillery that manufactures Pappy Van Winkle. The rare bourbon went missing in October of 2013. It was valued at $26,000. Sheriff Melton has said indictments in that case could be coming down soon. We're told he's received new tips and new information in the last month. A post on the Franklin County Sheriff Facebook page said a major announcement concerning the case will be made this afternoon. In March, the sheriff arrested Gilbert Kurtzinger, charged him with stealing wild turkey bourbon barrels. Kurtzinger worked for Buffalo Trace. He asked, we asked Melton if he thought Kurtzinger was connected to the theft. He would only say that case was still open. Now that today, the, uh, that announcement, the press conference for that is scheduled for 1.30 today at the Franklin County Sheriff's Office in Frankfort. At the live desk, Victor Puente, WKYT. All right, Victor, thank you. Today, state police will hold a news conference about the murders of a Bardstown mother and daughter. Nearly a year ago, Kathy and Samantha Netherland were found dead inside their home. The daughter and sister of the victims, Holly, will be giving a statement today at the news conference. No arrests have been made in the case. Police are still looking for a black Chevy Impala that was seen on surveillance video driving away from the area not long after the murders. The conference is to be this morning at 9.30 at the Kentucky State Police Post in Elizabethtown. Richmond police have arrested a man they say secretly videotaped a woman. They charged 22-year-old Jason Humphreys with video voyeurism. Police say he recorded the victim by putting a camera under a closed bathroom door. Police say she was getting out of the shower at the time. They say the victim later found out about that video and called police. Well, road crews think heavy rain triggered a mudslide that shut down a busy eastern Kentucky road for hours. Mud, rock, and other debris slid down onto U.S. 23 in Floyd County yesterday afternoon. Road crews say they haven't been able to clean up the mess because that mud is still falling, and they're not sure how to stop it. No injuries have been reported. Right now, only one lane of U.S. 23 is open. Road crews say they'll shut down the road again if the mud becomes too dangerous. 
A video tells the story of that one. Well, if you have ice cream in your freezer, it may need to go back to the store. Bluebell Creameries is recalling all of its products on the market over ongoing listeria concerns. The company says two samples of chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream tested positive for the bacteria. Last month, the company recalled some products after listeria was linked to three deaths in Kansas. But again, the latest recall now covers all Bluebell products. The company is not sure how the bacteria ended up on its manufacturing line. Well, two years after running away from home, a dog will soon be reunited with her family. Tilly, a seven year old beagle mix from Lexington, disappeared in 2013. A few months later, her family moved to Utah. But last week, someone found Tilly walking down the sidewalk on Hart Road. She didn't have a collar or any tags, but a microchip confirmed. She, who she was. A member of the Lost and Found Pets of Lexington Facebook page has volunteered to drive Tilly to her family in Utah and she'll be reunited with them on Friday. And looks so sweet and looks very healthy, you know, for yes. whatever she's been through. Where has Tilly been yeah. and what has she been through? But uh, yeah. that'll be a nice reunion. Yeah, maybe somebody's taking good care of her and uh, she now gets to go be with her family. All right, our time this morning is 5.41 on WKYT this morning. And let's see what's happening outside right now. We're looking at Broadway and High Street uh, there near the downtown area. And we have no reports of any early issues. It's a good, uh, should be a good ride in. Yes, make it a safe one as you head out today. Officer Don will be along in just a few minutes and he'll keep us up to date as we head toward the morning rush and it's nice to have you along here on this Tuesday. A lot more news is coming up this morning. Quarterback Tim Tebow may have only just signed with the Philadelphia Eagles but the city is already giving him a warm welcome literally. We'll show you some twisted treats a pretzel company made for him in just a few minutes. And we're looking outside looking at those 40s. A couple of 50s down south but it is cool outside. Now we're going to start to see some showers move on in later on in the day. And I'll show you that along with some frost coming up.